Hi, Johnson Thunderbirds. It's great to see all of you. We have our pride assembly today. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I have two helpers with me today. I have Darla the Dragon. Hi! Hi, Darla. It's good to see you. And I have Hugo too. the Hippo. Hi. Hi, Hugo. Make sure you're looking at the camera, sweetheart. I'm trying. It's hard. My eyes are on the side of my head. Well, I'm proud of you for helping me out with this, Hugo. I really appreciate it. So we're going to be honoring children for pride behavior, P-R-I-D-E. What does P stand for, do you suppose? I know. Pride. The P stands for participate positively. Good job, Darla. Hugo, how do you participate positively? I participate positively by having a good attitude. That's a great start, Hugo. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and read off our names. Our first name is Tyler S., Wiley R., Isaiah K., Jagger G., Skylar S., Eliza C., Viviana M., Ben P., uh, Romeo uh, G., Hussein A. G., Mason H., Jackson B., Talia O., Caitlin W., Reed O., Stormy C. M., Kaylin W., Anthony P., Christian E., Shiloh V., Gael, Gael H., Henry W., Evan L., Isabella B., Raul R., Alex S., Matthew C., Avery B., Landon H., Zoe S., Shiloh V., Joaquin M. W., uh, Teddy O., Ella J., Kylie N., Mara H., Lucy W., Michelle L., Anton I. C., Raina M., Diesel W., uh, Baduri B., and Julissa C. G. Wow, that was a long list, huh, guys? Yeah, I thought you were going to run out of breath. I almost did. Our next category is R. Hugo, what do you think R stands for if we're showing pride behavior? Hmm. I think R probably stands for respect. You're 100% correct. It means respect everyone, Hugo. Great job. How do you respect others? I respect other people by picking up my things. Great idea. How about you? I respect everyone by showing everybody kindness. Good job. It's a short list today. So we've got Ralphie S, Peyton T, Omar B C, Ben D, Charlie R, and Cassius T. Good job, everybody. Our next category is I. And I don't know that you guys are going to get this one, but you want to take a guess what I might stand for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, Mrs. Dawson, how about you just tell us? <laughs> yeah, I can just tell you. It means insist on safety, but we don't have anybody in that category right now because we're in remote learning. Uh, because... But aren't we all helping with insisting on safety? I guess we are. So what do you think should happen, Darla? I think we should all get that one. Yep, I think that's a great executive decision. All right, let's go on to the next one, D. What do you think that one might be? Hmm. I think D probably stands for do your best. That's a great idea, and it's exactly what it stands for. Hugo, how do you show doing your best? I show doing my best by trying my hardest at everything. That's great. How about you, Darla? I show doing my best by respecting people. Good job. All right, let's get started. Landon, Landon L, Blake L, Michelle L, Trip S, Eleanor J, Lucas N, Rayan G, Amelia O, Cash C, Annalise S, Raya S, Ava H, Preston M, Julian G, Makai P, Camilla P, Aiden V R, Emily H, Yuval F, Asher S, Josh uh, J in kindergarten, JJ J, Sienna V, Cade H, Ava H, Madison H, Levi B in third grade, Arwen L, Gus H, Sophia W, and Cody R. That's a long list, too. Yeah, that was pretty long. Super proud of them for doing their best. Our last category is E. What do you think, guys? Mrs. Dawson, I don't know what the letter E is. <laughs> okay, 
Well, it means enjoy learning. Oh, I love learning. Do you love learning, Darla? Yeah, learning is so cool. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to learn? I like math. That's I like all. recess. <laughs> That's great, Hugo. I love it. All right, let's get started. Oh, you guys are cracking me up. Uh, it's very clear, Darla, that you enjoy learning. All right, Ryan M. M., uh, Levi B. in second grade, Lainey M., Kaimani P., Caden H., uh, Austin M., Joseph S., Genevieve H., Sam P., Audrey C., Aria L., Alora B., Eternity N., Emerson L., Emma V. B., Rhea S., Annalise S., Michaela C., Rhea G., Addie S., and Levi B. in second grade. Congratulations, all. Those are our individual pride awards. Darla and Hugo, thank you so much for helping me out today. You guys were a blast. Of course, Mrs. Dowsey. Thank you, children. Say goodbye, Thunderbirds. Bye, Thunderbirds. Bye, everybody. Well, Thunderbirds, I am so happy to tell you who won the Golden Mouse. This isn't golden, but just pretend. The Golden Mouse this month goes to my fifth grade win group. Throughout all our distance learning, you kids have rocked it. Not only have you completed reading a book, writing a reflection about that, you've also done a wonderful job with the activities our visiting author has given to you. So way to go, my fifth grade chair turtles. Oh, hey, um, sorry, I was just playing Bob it. I need to put that away. Um, so today, I'm actually needing to give out my golden teddy bear to a class that I really, really think deserves it. And I really thought about that I celebrated May the 4th be with you, National Star Wars Day, um, with second grade this week, and I thought, oh, I should give it to them. But then I thought a little bit more and thought about the last few weeks and all the stuff we've been doing online. And second graders, I give you my R2-D2 award for all the cool stuff you share with me about um, May the 4th. And... The golden teddy bear, though, is going to go to a class that I spent some time with online a few weeks ago, and I just realized uh, that they were just making me laugh, and we were having such a great time, and they were really participating with their teacher and I, and they were telling funny stories, and really were becoming a group that I thought showed pride because they were caring so much about each other and catching up with each other, um, and that was... Mrs. Max class in fifth grade. Um, so I really had a great time and you guys, I am going to award you my golden teddy bear. Here it is, I'm handing it off because I enjoyed the story that Ainsley told about her pet guinea pig. Um, I enjoyed all the waves and nice things that you guys had to say to welcome me. And I also really liked spending time with you and how you treated each other. Thank you for showing pride. Golden teddy bear goes to you guys this month. Love you guys. Going to miss you um, when you're headed off to middle school. All right. Bye. Hello, Thunderbirds. Hope you're having a great day. I hope remote learning is going well for you. And I hope you're ready to hear who I'm going to award the golden jump rope to, which has been pretty hard. I've been relying on some feedback from individual students. And the people who have given me their names, I try to remember, and the people whose names I might read might not even be someone that emailed me back. So here we go. Golden Jump Rope goes to James S., Marcus L., Sophia M., Carter B., 
Kobe J, Gianna J, Jack J and Kate and J too, and also Sarah J. And also Oscar and Ella J. That's all I have for you, everybody. Be looking for a message about Virtual Field Day coming up on the Remote Learning website. See ya. Hi, Johnson Thunderbirds. Congratulations to second grade Mrs. Cruder's class. I picked you for a golden award. Your enthusiasm, your fun, your passion for music in class is infectious. I always have a blast with you and your curiosity and all your effort and energy you put in a positive way towards music is inspiring. Keep it up. Great job. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. I found the artsiest place in my bus to announce the Golden Palette winner for this month. This award is going to an entire grade level of students. These are the students that have been the most engaged in the activities that I've been posting specifically about art in our Google Classroom. They're the first ones to email me if something is wrong or the first ones to email me if they have questions about something. They represented the most amount of students that voted in our art contest. So I just wanna give a huge shout out and a congratulations to fourth grade. You guys are rock star artists and the golden palette is well deserved by all of you. <laughs> Teachers, I said Johnson heard. I said Johnson heard. I said J O H and S O N Johnson heard. T R I D E. 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 T. Participate positively. R. Respect. Everyone, I insist on safety. Be enjoy learning. As I said, Johnson heard. I said, Johnson heard. I said, Jimmy Wakeman and Johnson heard. Thunderbird teachers. Hello, Thunderbirds. I'm here to announce the principal Pride Lunch winners. Pride Lunch winners are Oliver S. Harper U, Ella F, Isaiah N, Stormy C, Tegan F, Lynette VC, Alana H, Lucy R, Brody C, Mason T, and Eden H. Way to go, guys. We're super proud of you for doing such a wonderful job going above and beyond and earning that principal's Pride Lunch. I really wish we could all sit down together at Johnson and have lunch together at the same table. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, but Mrs. Dawson and I will be reaching out to you to set up a Google Meets time that we can at least get together. So, way to go and uh, keep on rocking, Thunderbirds. Super excited to announce the winner of our art contest. But first, I want to give another special thank you to our student council who brought this idea to the table and for all of our members of our arts council who helped narrow down 
all of the artwork that you guys submitted to our top 40 and to all of you who cast your vote to help us get to our number one favorite piece. And it is my honor to congratulate our first place winner, Miss Dylan B. <laughs> Big Bamboo King was our top winner. And now, boys and girls, you might be wondering, what's next? We'd originally talked about having an art auction and selling our artwork to raise money for animals. But that's not going to happen. What is going to happen, though, was something I did promise you. I told you that we were going to take the pieces of artwork, our top five pieces, and have them printed. Print it into things like postcards. Postcards with your artwork on it. Well, boys and girls, that's exactly what I did. I just sent an order in for 10,000 postcards. What are we going to do with all those postcards? I'm going to be giving them to you. Each of you are going to receive postcards featuring artwork that our top five artists made and... I went a little further. I chose 15 other pieces of artwork to feature on our postcards. So boys and girls, when you come to pick up your school supplies, you will have a pack of 20 postcards featuring artwork from 20 of you. And that is my gift to you, in addition to a sketchbook. This is something that I want you to use to keep your thoughts in, draw pictures of, and continue to flex your creative muscles over the summer. Boys and girls, I'm so proud of you and the artwork that you make all of the time. Hello Thunderbirds, it's Mr. Bose here again, and I'm ready to announce our cup and trophy winners. So these are the classes that we've seen the most participation in our remote learning. First, for our K-1-2 primary grades, give me a big Thunderbird roll for me to announce. The winner is Mrs. Halsey's class. Woo! Way to go, Mrs. Halsey's class. Good job. You're going to be so ready for first grade. And next, third, fourth, fifth. Mm, who could it be? Let's do it. Another big Thunderbird roll. Mrs. Steinley's class. Congratulations, Mrs. Steinley's class. Way to go, guys. We're going to miss you next year. All right, everybody. Those are our cup and trophy pride winners for this final prize.